Hi everyone, in this video I want to cover workflows in Microsoft Teams. There is a new app powered by Microsoft named Workflows that contains a bunch of workflows that you can reuse to automate repetitive tasks. So you can speed up your productivity by reusing existing flow and with just a few clicks you can configure easily this workflow if you want to get notified across RSS feed directly in Team or if you want to start an approval workflow when someone uploads a file in the Team or moreover, if you want to provide a welcome message to new Teams member, you can use this workflow. There are a lot of templates. It's easy to go through the catalog of workflows. A Power Automate license is required for that, but it's absolutely easy to use it and you can find a lot of template for many use cases. Okay, let's get started and I show you how to use workflows in Microsoft Teams. Here I am in Microsoft Teams. First of all, I have to install a workflows app in order to use existing templates that I will install in a bit. Let's click on the ellipsis button and let me type workflows. Here we go, at the first position there is this app. Opening this app you will see the button install. I already installed this app so this is already available for me. And this will help me to reuse existing template that I am going to install right now. Let's go on apps and then here you will find a new section, workflows. Let's click on it and below are listed several categories. Here in the body of this page we can see the top picks template available and the data collection. Divided per category you can switch between approval, instant, calendar, data collection, there are a lot of categories. Now let's go on all templates so we can have a full overview of all existing workflow templates. Here are listed all templates. We have a lot of workflows here. We can see that there are the most used like uh, follow up on a message, create a planner task when a channel post starts with to do, welcome new teams member and share their bio, forward emails to a channel. But moreover, we have different kind of integration with other platforms. For example, here there is a use case with Azure DevOps. If you are using Azure DevOps, you can create a workflow in order to automate tasks. So you have a connection directly with Azure DevOps, you can follow up better on work items, for example. Then additionally, we have Trello. You can notify a team of new Trello tasks, for example. Moreover, there is Asana. You can create an Asana task from a message. GitHub, get notified of GitHub issues assigned to you. And finally, we have Google Tasks. So if you are using Google Tasks for some reason, you can automate this thing. Directly from Teams, you can create a Google Task. Or you can forward emails to a channel from Gmail. There is Slack, cross post a message to Slack, share a message on Twitter. Now here I want to highlight an important aspect. Even if you create and reuse a workflow, this is, as I mentioned, ready to go. You don't need to configure nothing, you can use it immediately. But if you want, you can change and customize this workflow in order to adapt the process on your needs. Now let's start to use an existing workflow. I'm going to use welcome new Teams members and share their bio. Here I have to click on the button sign in so I can trust and confirm these two connections. Then let me click on the button next. And finally, I have to configure three steps here. I have to set the team to monitor, and this will be the IT team, then team to post to. This could be different, but I want to make a post on the same team. And finally, I have to pick the channel where I want to post the welcome on board. And then let me confirm by adding this workflow. Now I can click on the button done. So, and if I go on Teams, 
Now I can invite a new member in this team. All I need to do is just click on the three dots and then add member. Now I'm going to add the, a new member which is Diego Siciliani. Let me click on the button add and then close. Now this workflow should trigger and should make a new post in the channel after that the inviter has confirmed the bio. So I'm going to change perspective right now. Now changing perspective, I am connected as Diego Siciliani in Teams. If I jump in the activity feed, I can see one notification and Giuliano added me in the IT team. So then I can go on the chat and here I have an adaptive card coming from the app Power Automate. This is the bot of Power Automate. Welcome to the team. Tell us about yourself. So I, here I can write something that I really have here. My hobby is going to the cinema and playing with my children. Let me click now on the button Submit. This message will be posted in the general channel of the IT team. Let me go again in Teams, changing again perspective. I am Giuliano. And if I go in the general channel, we can see now that a new message has been posted. Welcome to the team, Diego Siciliani. Here they are in their own words. My hobby is going to the cinema and playing with my children. Now, what I want to show you is every time that you add a new workflow in Teams, basically a new flow will be added in Power Automate. Let me show you. I'm going to open now Power Automate and this is the the emea.flow.microsoft.com website. I click on the home page. Let me click on my flows. I'm impersonating here Giuliano, which is the user that has created this workflow. Welcome new team members and share their bio. If I click on the edit button, we can see that this workflow is here up and running. But this also means that I can customize this process. If I want to take other action, if I want to send other message, or if I want to inform some other uh, users, here you can add your custom steps. You can just modify this Power Automate flow, and then this will trigger every time that you will add a new member in this team. So this is how it works, this, this workflow. It's basically, it's a new flow added in Power Automate. Now let me go in Teams again because we are going to play with other. Let's say that I need to prepare an onboarding to the project for Diego Siciliani. A good thing to do is to click on the ellipsis button when I go over this message, then more actions and finally create new action. Here I have listed all existing workflows and then I want to follow up on this message. Let me click on this workflow and then let me click on add workflow. Here I can change the name of this workflow if I want, but this is fine for me. So I'm going forward. Now this is very cool. If I want to, I can run this flow and this will integrate a new menu item in every message. So when I go over on the message, I will find now a new menu item that tell me that I can follow up on the message. Let me run it. And now I can decide when I want to follow up on this message. Let's say tomorrow and the time, uh, let's say 10.30. And here I can type, for example, prepare, prepare the onboarding to the project for Diego. Let me click on submit. And now the Power Automate bot will notify me tomorrow at the time scheduled so I am able to prepare then the onboarding. This is another useful thing that speed up the productivity and you can prioritize easily the tasks that you want to face. Let me show you that a new action has been added by default. If I go over this other message and if I click on the ellipsis button, more actions, there is follow up on a message. It is the workflow that I just created. Let's start to see other workflows. Here I'm going to apps down below. Then on the section workflows and all templates. For my opinion, there is another useful workflow, which is this one. Notify a channel you'll be out of office. 
This workflow will set automatically on your Outlook calendar when you'll be out of office and moreover will inform a specific team. Let me click now on the button sign in. The name of this workflow is fine for me. Then on next. Finally, I can set the calendar that I want to use. It is this one, the normal calendar out of the box. The team that I want to inform in this case will be the IT team. Let me search the team in the search box and then where I want to notify in which channel the general is fine. Add workflow. Now I can click on done. This one is created. If I go on the ellipsis button here, I can go on the workflows app. I can open directly this app from here. And now from what I can do here in this, in this panel, I can click on create new action or I can use this one just created. Notify. And this opens a panel here. I can say when I will be out of office, I will start from tomorrow until the 1st April. Then here I can set a status out of, out of office and here my message, I'll be out of office until April. Then I can mention someone if I collaborating with specific people. Let me mention Diego. Diego Siciliani and then Adele Evans. So I will inform these two colleagues because we collaborate uh, very close. Now I said one days before being out of office notify channel. So in this way, I should receive immediately a notification. Now I'm going to confirm on the submit button. Let's see if it worked. I'm going in Teams now and I am reading the general channel of the IT team. Here I have a new and fresh post, Giuliano De Luca out of office. I'll be out of office until 1st April. I mentioned it here, Diego and Adele. Now to double check that my calendar has this new information, here I am in on my Outlook. Let me click on calendar and there we go. There is a new event just added to my calendar, out of office, Giuliano De Luca. This is pretty cool. All right, we have seen in this video how to use an existing template of workflow to speed up your productivity and to automate repetitive tasks. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.